Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in once again to Auto Transport for Dummies where we talk about everything you dummies want to know in the auto transport world. So it's uh, January 1st, 2022. Haven't done a video in a little bit so thought I would do a quick clip actually just soaking in the in my, in my hot tub right now but wanted to wish you all a new year of course and then other thing I wanted to quickly bring up something that a lot of the customers never really get a glimpse at they don't see kind of the back backside of how all these transports get put together between the carriers and the brokers and so forth or the dealers or whoever's trying to move your car so in most cases you as the client out there want to move the car as quick as possible you want a good carrier you want to pay a decent rate and you want to get the car moved as quick as possible but a good rate in your eyes is not necessarily a good rate in our eyes or a good rate in the carrier's eyes okay that's really why this industry is just such a difficult difficult terrain for the average customer because they look online look at all these quotes and they're like oh well i got this quote for 800 so why are you sending me that why why would i need to pay 1200 but what you don't realize is 800 is not moving anything and you can't see that because you can't see the load boards you can't see where the last 15 loads on the route you're trying to move have moved at and so from a carrier's perspective they're not even going to think about moving that car at 800 bucks because there's multiple units out of your same area paying more money and the last several loads they did they got more money so why would they but you don't realize that it's like if you were going to buy airline tickets and all the airline tickets were you know priced at like 500 bucks online let's just say they're all 500 bucks but little to your knowledge all of the 500 dollars flights like they canceled the ticket they canceled the flight the day before well if you didn't know that, you would think paying 750 was like a terrible rate. But if you did know that, and you also knew you were getting to fly on like a, you know, a high-end jetliner or a, you know, Gulfstream or something like that, and you're paying 750, well now, that seems like a good rate, right? It's all about like perception and everything. So, what I'm getting at is just a quick example because we have my buddy has a couple of Kentucky six cars. We send him a good amount of loads. And he was sending me back this text uh, conversation with some broker. I think the company is called ADCOS. I've never even heard of them, like A-D-K-O-S. I don't even know, whatever. Same situation, different day with these people. But there's like no one, it was like New Year's weekend. And he's trying to get, like he want, he's get, he has like one spot left on his truck. There's very few trucks moving around New Year's and Christmas, like half the industry is even working. So all the prices are way elevated right now. You're lucky to get anything moved. I think this car was going from like Arizona or California out to South Carolina and it's enclosed. And I don't remember what kind of car it was, maybe an M3 or something, but everything enclosed is like over 2K, like it's 2K, like that's almost like a minimum right now to go even remotely coast to coast any direction. I mean, I got loads out of Virginia going to like Oakland, Washington, North Cal, uh, you know, Central California for $2,500 and I don't even have interest in carriers picking them up. So anyway, this text conversation that takes place is like my buddy TJ is just telling him, hey, we need 1700 to move this, which they're already getting like 2K per car on the other four or five slots on this six car enclosed. And this broker who's clueless, doesn't know how trucks look at the load boards or something, keeps texting him back, eh, I think 1500 is a good rate. I don't think we can go up on that right now. But the customer, of course, probably got quoted like 18, 1900 or whatever. But the broker keeps holding up this transport and is like, nah, 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 nah. We, we can't take that. That's too low, like, or I mean, that's too high. We can't pay that. 1700, that's like, that's not even high. That's how clueless the guy is. Like 2K is like going rate. 22 plus would be maybe borderline high right now. This guy doesn't want to pay 15 when like open Toyota Camrys are moving at like 1200. 
So this is the kind of nonsense that happens if you hire the wrong type of company, which is like, unfortunately, about 90% of them out there anyway, anymore, they're gonna sit on these orders to try to squeeze another 100 or $200 when there's good options to move the car. And what happens is because they guarantee you, maybe the guy guaranteed the guy an exact rate at like 1700 and he's not gonna make anything on it if he you know, moves it at 17. He doesn't have the balls to call the customer and be like, hey, we got this great option, really good carrier with a great track record, six car Kentucky, they can move it at 17. You wanna do that, it might cost another 100, 200 bucks, whatever. I, gar I bet I bet 99 times out of 100 that customer's like, yeah, let's do it, let's green light it, let's go for it. I still am struggling with trying to communicate to people. It's like, is the price gonna go up? Is this the final quote? Is this the final number? Okay, again, we don't determine the pricing. We do not make the market. The supply and demand goes up and down like the stock market and we are just relaying you buy points to get that car moved. And our projections, on the front end on airride.com our calculator are usually pretty close but i mean of course if you got a car going to like minot north dakota or some difficult location it's probably going to be a little off or you're going to be waiting a few weeks to have maybe any interest in that order at all because it's just there's just not enough trucks moving that route they're very hard to predict so i mean we had a guy recently he's trying to move it from like mccallan Texas to Helen in Montana. I think he left us a comment, like a bad comment on you. Well, like who, nobody can move that fast. I mean, it's the middle of winter. It's a blizzard in Montana. There's just no trucks moving that route. I mean, you got virtually no trucks coming out of McAllen, which is on the border of Texas and Mexico. And then you're, you want to move it in close to Montana right now? I mean, I'm sorry, we're not miracle workers. We can do our best, we can put it out there and see who might be interested, but it's like next to, it's like incredibly slim pickings, especially in the winter trying to move stuff like that. Just, uh, it's practically ice road trucking and most trucks don't wanna risk their necks doing a run like that. With that, I'll wish you guys a happy new year, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, happy all that shit. By the way, check out at Bassmaster. Awesome, awesome guy if you haven't already found him on YouTube. Anyway, we'll check you guys on the next one. Happy hauling out there.